hi guys welcome to my youtube channel and in this video we are going to discuss the adaptations of the leaf for photosynthesis the leaf is thin that is to allow uh, movement of gases or diffusion of gases into the leaf for example carbon dioxide into the leaf or oxygen out of the leaf it also allows the sun rays to penetrate and reach the photosynthetic cells the leaf has petiole or the leaf stalk that exposes the leaf to as much sunlight energy as possible. The leaf has vascular bundles just a short distance away. It has xylem vessels a short distance away to transport water and mineral salts to the photosynthetic cells. The leaf has uh, phloem a short distance away of every mesophyll cell to carry the manufactured food. The leaf has a broad lamina. This is to trap as much sunlight energy as possible. The leaf has a large surface area that is to enable uh, trapping of maximum sunlight energy. The leaf has air spaces in the mesophyll cells or in the spongy mesophyll cell that allows diffusion of carbon dioxide gas to into the photosynthetic cells the leaf has tomata on the lower surface that allows the, the gases mainly the carbon dioxide gas to diffuse into the leaf the leaf has the palisade mesophyll cells arranged like a fence or a palisade to trap maximum sunlight energy. The, the, the chloroplast in the uh, palisade mesophyll cells, they are arranged broad side on. This is to enable trapping of maximum sunlight energy. See you next time as we handle more videos on biology. Bye.